Hey there, good morning. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're going to be talking about the invasive bush honeysuckle and how can you get rid of that nasty invasive plant and why this is a great time to do that. I'm very lucky to be joined here and today by MDC's Russell Henna. He's going to tell us and about this plant, why it's so invasive, how it got here, and how you can get rid of it. So let me turn this around and we'll chat with Russell and we'll we'll talk about how you can get rid of that bush honeysuckle nasty invasive plant today on Habitat Hints. Let's turn this around. All right. Whoa, hang on a second. I don't know what I did here. Let's turn this around. There we go. All right, so this is the nasty bush honeysuckle plant, right, Russell? Yes, that's correct. So, Russell, tell us, you know, how can we get rid of those nasty invasive bush honeysuckle plants? Uh, bush honeysuckle can be controlled in a variety of ways, um, and, and we'll start, like, from when it's small to as it gets larger. Uh, if you have small plants that are, uh, you know, just seedlings, um, and you have, you know, moist ground, those can actually just be pulled up by the roots. Uh, and pull, pull those up, that's an effective uh, control measure. As it gets bigger or when it's in that seedling stage, uh, you can use uh, chemical control, uh, foliar spray on the, on the, uh, on the leaves. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. No, I was gonna oh. ask, you know, it's, it's a unique plant. It's got mm -hmm. these red berries on it. Yeah. I mean, it's not something that I'm sure a lot of people would be like, oh, what's that pretty plant? This is invasive. Kind of tell us how this all got here and how it all started. Uh, from my understanding, uh, it was brought uh, uh, from Asia in the 1800s as an ornamental plant because it does get white blooms, you know, in the uh, summertime, and it gets these red berries on it that, that people like. Uh, but as it was planted and throughout the United States, it slowly became invasive. Obviously, the the berries were spread by birds and mammals all over the place. Um, and then the plant itself can actually inhibit other plants from growing and, uh, and, and not allow native plants to grow in those spa spaces. So how can we get rid of this nasty invasive plant? Um, as we talked about the, you know, the, the mechanical control of pulling, but that's labor intensive. Um, you can do foliar spraying uh, of, the, of the leaves uh, with a 2% uh, glyphosate solution uh -huh. um, and spray it. You spray them till they're wet, but not to where the chemical is running off. Obviously, you don't want to put any more chemical out there than, than you want. Um, and you could put a surfactant in it in the spray that made it stick to the leaves uh, a little bit better. Uh, that's a good effective control on seedlings and larger plants, but as they get larger, you know, overhead high, six, seven feet tall, uh, cutting them off with a chainsaw, loppers, something that effect, uh, would control would control it, mm. but then that stump has to be treated chemically, or it will sprout back. So you could use a 20% glyphosate solution, or you could use a chemical like picloram uh, to to treat the stump, and then it will not sprout back. So on this one, what would you do? Would you cut that down and then treat the stump, or would this something you just spray? Uh, th this one, because it's out by itself, and you're not having to you know wade in there. Just cutting that stump off and treating it would be simple. Uh, but if you were uh, coming by and could foliar spray, either option is, is, is pretty good. This is a great time of year to control it because uh, it's still really green while the yeah. other plants are not. Uh, native plants have already lost their leaves, uh, so um, herbicide will, is right on that plant and will have less effect on that surrounding area. Gotcha. And, you know, can people get more information about the type of chemicals and stuff you want to spray on this on our uh, website? Yes. If you go to the Missouri Department of Conservation website and just search uh, bush honeysuckle control, there's multiple publications out there. Or the Missouri Invasive Plant Council also has um, lots and lots of um, uh, literature out there from Missouri plus other states that have done all kinds of work on bush honeysuckle. Awesome. I really appreciate it, Russell. Thank you so much. And again, thanks for you all tuning in uh, this morning. Again, if you want to learn more about how you can control and get rid of this nasty invasive species plant, bush honeysuckle, go to our website at mdc.bo.gov and you can search bush honeysuckle and get all the information you would like to know and find out. Also, you can always contact your local private lands conservationist and they are be more than willing to help you figure out how you can get rid of this nasty invasive species. Thanks, you have a great rest of the day.